Hey, 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 you guys. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of encouragement this evening. Um, it might be fitness. It might be a relationship. It might be a career goal. It might be an education goal. Heck, it might just be picking up a new hobby that you're trying to get into. I want you to know that you are so powerful. Did you know that there is this beautiful life that lives right here within you? And, and that life is specific for you. What, what you need out of this journey, this experience, you have absolutely everything that you need right here. It's not found in some ancient scroll somewhere. It's not uh, only proven in your accomplishments. Guess what? It's also not disproven in your slip-ups, mishaps, and what we call failures. The life that lives within you, who you are, what makes you, you, is capable, completely capable of achieving that next rung on the ladder. That next thing that you need to do to get where you're going with that fitness goal, with that relationship goal, with that career goal, with that hobby that you're picking up, whatever it is, that power that's needed to take that next step to reach and grab and pull is already, already. Notice I didn't say you've got to beg and plead and pray and fast and, and, and give a bunch of stuff so that maybe your life will be blessed. No, already the power to achieve that next flipping, flapping rung on the ladder already lives in you. You see, we have gotten so distracted with trying to become something that we've forgotten who we be. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. This journey isn't about becoming something else else then you wouldn't be. Yep. It is about rocking out your being. And here's the crazy part. To rock out your being, that happens right now. It's not tomorrow. It's not yesterday. It's not next week. And it's not two months ago. Rocking out who you are, who you be, is in this moment. That next rung on that flipping flapping ladder, I don't know when it's going to happen. If someone tells you that they can predict when it's going to happen, I would encourage you to run. <laughs> I would encourage you to run as fast as you can. Because what's going on in here, this is what's going on with you and who you be. Don't, don't uh, get caught up in the... Um, the word or the, the proclamation of someone else. What you need for your life is right here. So what is that next rung? When it comes to education, what is that next thing that you'd like to go after? Now, looking forward to what it is that you want is not living in the future. It's called dreaming <laughs> and dreaming is how successful people get where they want to go it's not that they look around and go oh yes I don't have anything and so I will just sit here and deal with it and maybe some little uh, short leprechaun will come and drop a blessing in my lap if I say all the right words and I do it all the right ways not dog in prayer. <laughs> prayer is a beautiful, beautiful experience. What I am saying is that if you're begging someone, something, or even deity, God, whatever you call it, nature, oneness, energy, if you find yourself begging, 
It might just be that you're barking up the wrong tree, and let me tell you why. Because begging gets you nowhere. See, you're not a beggar. <laughs> That's not who you are. You are not the low-life scum of the earth. No, you are sons and daughters. You are kings and queens. And when you decide to get up off of the cardboard box that's sitting on the ground and your little change thing is saying, oh, please give me a blessing, oh, please. And you look around and you realize that there you are, royalty, sitting on the ground begging. Then you'll get up off of your butt. You'll stand up. You'll brush yourself off. And you'll check out what the next rung looks like. And then you'll go after it. You'll dream. You will take the time to see what it is that you want, and then you'll quit wasting time begging for it. I'm not saying that we just chase after every little single women waller that we feel. No, that's not what I said. I said take the time. See, in time, we grow wisdom, right? We don't just rush off and jump into things with absolutely no thought into it. No. We take the time. We dream. We look at the next rung. And then we go ahead and we go for it. Tonight, wherever you are in your journey, I want to encourage you to walk like royalty because that's who you are. You are extravagant. Have you heard that lately? You are wonderful. What about that one? What about mighty? What about fantabulous, Hey, I love that word. It's amazing. I always get caught up, though, when I'm trying to message it. Not quite sure how it's spelled, but we figure it out. You are fantabulous and fabulous and magnificent. You are royalty. And it's about time that you begin journeying like one. What's the next rung? And will you go after it? Or will you stay on the cardboard box shaking for a blessing? I love you. Be encouraged. Oh, son and daughter. Oh, royalty. I love you guys. Have an absolutely beautiful night. Word. <laughs>